Hey everyone, welcome back for another deep dive. We're gonna be focusing on something I know a lot of you are really interested in, AI and what it means for the future of education. It's a big one. It really is. Luckily, we've got a ton of research, different expert opinions, and even some philosophical takes to dig into today. Yeah, and some pretty strong opinions on both sides too, right? Yeah. Like I've seen some experts calling AI the future of education, even saying it could replace traditional classrooms. Which is a little bit uh, concerning. To say the least. Yeah. But then on the other hand, you've got folks saying, hold on, what about the human element? Can AI really replace teachers completely? That's the big question, isn't it? Can robots replace teachers? And in this deep dive, we're going to try to find out. Exactly. But before we go full sci-fi on this, let's clarify what we're actually talking about when we say AI-assisted learning. Because we're not just talking about, you know, robots with pointers and uh, red pens chasing students around the classroom. Right. Although that would make for a pretty entertaining deep dive. <laughs> Maybe next time. No, when we talk about AI in education, think more along the lines of interactive software, like having a digital tutor that adjusts to your pace. It's like having a personalized lesson plan that adapts in real time. You're breezing through a topic, boom, the AI bumps up the difficulty. But if you're struggling, no worries. It circles back, gives you extra practice, maybe tries explaining things in a different way. It's kind of like having a teacher who knows exactly how you learn best and adjusts their teaching style accordingly. And the best part is, it's not just theory. There's real data backing this up. Oh, yeah. Like what? Well, for example, there was a 2021 study in the Journal of Educational Technology. Researchers found that students using these AI-powered learning platforms saw a 15% increase in their standardized test scores compared to those using traditional methods. 15%! That's huge! No wonder everyone's so excited about this. It's a game-changer for sure. And it makes sense when you think about it. When you can tailor a curriculum to a student's unique learning style, when you can identify their strengths and weaknesses and adjust the learning path accordingly, well, you're going to see results. And isn't that the ultimate goal? Helping every student reach their full potential. Exactly. And that's what's got some experts thinking that, yeah, maybe AI could be the primary educator down the line. But how exactly is that even possible? How can AI actually personalize lessons like that? Well, a lot of it comes down to machine learning. Ah, okay, so like the algorithms are doing the heavy lifting. Right. So let's say a student is using an AI-powered learning platform. The algorithm can analyze their performance data, like how quickly they're grasping concepts, what kinds of questions they're getting right or wrong, even how long they spend on different tasks. So it's gathering all this data about how they learn best. Exactly. And based on those patterns, the AI can predict what the student is ready to learn next. It can even adjust the difficulty level in real time. Wow. So it's not just planning lessons. It's constantly adapting and evolving based on the student's needs. Exactly. And it goes even further than that. We're talking AI providing personalized feedback on assignments, grading quizzes instantly, even offering hints and guidance when a student gets stuck. It sounds like AI could free up a lot of time for teachers, you know, less time grading papers, more time actually teaching. Precisely. That's where what we call learning analytics comes into play. By crunching huge amounts of data on student performance, we can equip teachers with these amazing insights into how each student learns most effectively. Okay, so instead of replacing teachers, AI becomes this incredibly powerful tool to help them be even better at their job. Exactly. It's about using AI to empower teachers, not replace them. Okay, I get it. There's huge potential there. But I got to be honest, the idea of like handing education over to algorithms, even really smart ones, it makes me a little uneasy. Yeah, I can see that. And it's interesting you say that because that's one of the biggest arguments against AI replacing teachers altogether, the whole human element thing. Right. Like, what about that? Because you can't program empathy, can you? Exactly. And that's something a lot of the experts we looked at brought up. Even with all the amazing things AI can do, it can't replicate certain aspects of the learning experience, those things that are, well, uniquely human. So, like, what are we talking about here specifically? What are those things that AI just can't replace? Well, think about something as basic as social interaction. Working in groups, having those classroom discussions, debating ideas with your peers, all that stuff is crucial for developing critical thinking skills, communication, even just basic social skills. The kind of stuff you need to navigate, well, life, not just a computer program, right? Wow. Totally. And I don't know about you, but some of my most memorable learning experiences, the ones that really stuck with me, they came from those in-class debates, you know? Thinking back to this one teacher I had, Mr. Williams, he ran the debate team. Man, he pushed us hard. 
we weren't just memorizing facts, we're learning how to think on our feet, how to build a solid argument, how to disagree respectfully, all these skills that I still use today, by the way, no app can really teach you that. You're so right. And there's actually research to back that up. A 2022 study by the National Association of School Psychologists found that while AI-driven learning was great for delivering information, the students in those environments actually scored lower on tests that measured critical thinking and social skills compared to students in more traditional classrooms. That makes sense. You need that real-time back and forth interaction with other humans to really sharpen those skills, don't you? Absolutely. And it goes even deeper than that, I think, because there's also this whole social-emotional aspect to learning that AI, at least for now, really can't replicate. Remember that Global Education Council report we talked about, the one that found that 92% of students said having emotional support from their teachers was really important to them. That says a lot, I think. It's the human touch, right? It's that ability to know when a student is struggling, maybe beyond what the data shows, to offer encouragement, understanding, that kind of thing, and to really recognize those individual learning styles in a way that an algorithm might miss. Exactly. And let's be real. Sometimes a student needs more than just the right answer or a personalized lesson plan, you know. Sometimes they need a break, a little pep talk, or just someone to listen. And those are the kinds of subtle, nuanced interactions that I think really make a difference in a student's life and their growth as a whole person, not just their knowledge base. So where does that leave us then? I feel like we're sort of caught between these two extremes, right? This amazing potential of... AI on one hand, but then the undeniable value of human connection in education on the other. You're right. It's not an either or situation. Yeah. That's where things get really interesting, I think. Remember that David Brooks quote we mentioned before yeah. about focusing on the skills machines can't replicate. That's where I think the real magic happens when we start thinking about how AI and human educators can actually work together, you know? Okay. Yeah. Now we're talking. So what does that look like, practically speaking? I like to picture it as AI taking over the tasks that it's really good at. Things like grading, lesson planning, maybe even providing some initial feedback on assignments. And that then frees up teachers to really focus on what they do best, guiding discussions, providing individual mentorship, you know, fostering those important social and emotional connections, things that, at least for now, are really hard to program. So instead of replacing teachers, AI actually becomes like this super powered tool in their toolkit. Exactly. It's all about using AI to amplify the human impact not to replace it, because AI can do a phenomenal job of personalizing how information is delivered. But at the end of the day, I really believe it's a human teacher who inspires a love of learning, who can spark that curiosity and create a dynamic, supportive learning environment where every student feels seen and heard. And that's something special. So it's not about replacing teachers with robots. It's more like giving teachers a robot assistant. Exactly. Like a super powered sidekick who can handle all the tedious stuff. And that lets the teacher focus on, you know, actually connecting with the students, inspiring them. Right. Think about it like this AI can be the choreographer designing these amazing personalized lesson plans, but it's the human teacher who brings the dance to life. You know, they add the heart, the nuance, the emotional connection that makes learning really sing. Okay. I like that analogy. It's like AI can build the car, but it takes a human to actually drive it, to choose where to go and enjoy the ride. I love that. Yeah. Because it's not just about you know, memorizing facts anymore. It's about equipping students with the skills they'll need to thrive in a world that's, well, constantly evolving alongside AI. Right. Like, what good is knowing all the answers if you don't know what questions to ask, right? Exactly. We're talking adaptability, critical thinking, problem solving, creativity, emotional intelligence. These are the skills that, at least for now, machines really struggle with. And those are the skills that make us human, right? So it's not about outsmarting the machines. It's about being more human. That's beautifully said, because it really is about understanding what makes us unique. Our empathy, our curiosity, our ability to collaborate and using technology to help us enhance those qualities, not replace them. I like that. So as we wrap up our AI and education deep dive, what's the one big takeaway you want our listeners to walk away with? If they only remember one thing, what should it be? Honestly, I'd say it's this. The future of education isn't about choosing sides, about AI versus teachers. It's about finding the right balance. Yeah. We can be excited about the potential of AI while still recognizing that human connection, that empathy, that shared journey of learning. Those are things that are truly irreplaceable. And finding that balance, that's where the real magic happens. Couldn't have said it better myself. And for everyone listening, we'll leave you with this. As we enter this exciting new frontier of AI, think about what kind of learner you want to be and how can both technology and human connection help you unlock your full potential. 
keep exploring those questions. And until next time, happy learning.